Hello and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics AT200 Pro 200 Watt Automatic Antenna Tuner. We've already shown you installation, basic, and advanced operations with the AT200 Pro. In this final video in this series, we look at using the AT200 Pro with ICOM and Yaesu radios when using the provided ICOM or Yaesu radio interface cables. First, let's look at using the included ICOM radio interface cable. The ICOM interface cable has a 4-pin connector on the radio end of the cable and splits out into a DC power connector and a control connector on the tuner end of the cable. When using the ICOM interface cable, the AT200 Pro is powered directly from the ICOM radio. To install the ICOM interface cable, first, turn off the radio. Plug the 4-pin connector into the tuner jack on the back of the radio. Next, plug the DC power connector into the jack marked 12 volt DC on the rear of the tuner. Plug the 8th inch stereo plug into the jack marked radio. Note that if you're using an IC718 radio, you will need to set it for AH4 tuner operation. With the ICOM interface cable installed, tuning is greatly simplified. Two options are available. The first is to press and hold the tuner call button on the radio for one second. The radio automatically transmits a carrier while tuning. Notice that the tune LED on the radio lights up when a successful tune is complete. To bypass the tuner, press the tuner call button momentarily. The second option is to use the tune button on the AT200 Pro. Press for one second to begin a memory tuning cycle. Press the tune button momentarily to bypass the tuner. The Yaesu interface cable is a short 8th inch stereo cable with a red connector on the radio end and a black connector on the tuner end. Both ends are marked. This cable works with FT857 and FT897 radios. To install the cable, first turn off the radio. Plug the red radio end of the cable into the ACC jack on the rear of the radio. Plug the black tuner end of the cable into the jack marked radio on the rear of the AT200 Pro. Turn on both the radio and the tuner. To tune using the Yaesu interface cable, press the tune button on the AT200 Pro for one second to initiate a memory tuning sequence. The control cable tells the radio to transmit a tuning carrier for the duration of the tuning cycle. As you can see, the memory tuning cycle falls through to a full tuning cycle when necessary. To force a full tuning cycle, hold the tune button for more than two and a half seconds. Pressing the tune button momentarily will toggle the bypass mode. This concludes our three-part AT200 Pro video instruction series. Please be sure to read your printed AT200 Pro user manual to get the most out of your new AT200 Pro tuner.